Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Sunbreak. Today, it is the final, like, base form of Risen Elder Dragon. I already did the dialogue. There's nothing unique about the dialogue. It's the same for every Risen Elder Dragon. But it will be... I might need to check my setup, but it is Risen Shigaru Magala. It looks pretty cool. It's in an arena. I have no idea how it will go, but I'm thinking it should be pretty fun. I hate this setup. Oh yeah, I have to get rid of the Destroyer Jewel because, unsurprisingly, Heartbreaker 3 doesn't need two more levels. I might just do that. Or that. Let's go with that. Yeah, I need to get a lot of... Like, these level 4 slots will get more and more use later. When I have access to... Critical Eye... Attack Boost level 4 decorations. Which I do not have yet. Because I think I need... 220, 240... Anomaly level. But it should be fine. No followers. Well, fine as in the setup will work. It's probably going to take 40 minutes, is my guess. Because the thing is... I fought normal Shigaru Magala, like, I think nearly 30 times now. So at least from that perspective, okay, 27 times. Like, I've done, I've fought it a lot, but I have no idea how... This will go, whether it will ruin me because I've ran it so many times that a sudden change in how it, it behaves will be like confusing or if it's similar enough that it shouldn't be too bad oh no that's totally different already okay It's very big. It's a very big Shigaru Magala. Or compared to Shigaru Magala, it's very large. It has bigger horns, I think. Somehow I missed the face. That's, yeah, that's a weird attack compared to the usual. That's a roar? Yep. Wait, the arm... The wing arm claws look different. They look like the claws are a lot bigger. But that could just be... That could be very incorrect. It could be the exact same for all I actually know. I'm gonna get hit. Ooh, it's already doing those attacks. Whoa, that's quick. Okay. The death was my mistake, but also I hate when I try to activate a max potion and it just doesn't. 
I wouldn't have eaten it in time and I would have died. But it causes momentary confusion when you try to use it and it just doesn't work. Like, it shouldn't cause me to die. I should have been able to Superman there. But it got to me more than it should have. Too slow. Ooh, that's actually a, a subtle difference there. Because I think the normal version never does that attack with the right. It's always with its left, or it's always with its left side. Whereas this one, it goes right and left. Pretty lucky there. It's definitely going to take practice if I hunt this again in the future, which maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know at this point. Well, I'll obviously do this like a anomaly version that I'll have to grind probably, or I don't even know if I'll have to grind it, because honestly. Given that the anomaly version of this is probably one of the hardest monsters in the game, I don't know how important grinding it is, because if I can beat it, I'm not really going to be able to get much. I can be able to get better stuff, but yeah, I forgot that I got null berries for free. That one, I guess because it's an explosive attack. Normal Shigaru Magala, those sorts of attacks don't have an explosive AoE, so you can just position behind it and be safe. But this version, because it has a big explosion, you need to be a lot more careful. Thanks for the support. Which is mildly annoying. Like, I actually really like that Shigaru Magala lets you sort of dodge based on positioning more than having to. Well, everything's positioning, but. Like, it's a lot more minor positional adjustments as opposed to having to move a long distance to avoid. I think that attack has a different hitbox than the normal, I'd say, equivalent attack from the normal Shigaru Magala. I missed, but I didn't. Good. Pretty good luck on that. And this missed, which is unfortunate. Feels like it should be about to roar. 
And I should be able to counter, but I don't know the timing. Nope, never ride a dog. Dogs are actually more dangerous than just dodging. If I want to sharpen, it's actually probably safer to just sharpen on the ground and then dodge out of the failure attacks. An excellent opportunity. Close. Not quite. Given that I got hit, but... <laughs> Couldn't shift far enough. Look at this attack. It's a pretty interesting version. I think at least on my fir this first kill, I don't love it. Mostly because it's... I've fought the normal one enough times to be comfortable with it. And this is similar enough to feel like it should be more similar than it is. Because there's a lot of attacks that are the same, but aren't. Like, like the various stomp uh, arm attacks like that. Some of them have explosions, so they're bigger AoE. It's attacking my dog, right? Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to counter anything here. Except now it's not targeting my dog. Kind of a waste of Intrepid Heart. That's the first time he's done that in this. That's a very common attack in the normal version. But that's the first time I've seen it here. Body slam? Nope. It's gonna hit there, yep. I need to break some parts. Without breaking any parts, I don't heal much or at all. Breaking his face with a well, horn would be the ideal. That was good that it didn't explode. He didn't do the follow-up, which is funny. <laughs> Worth it for the amp. That unfortunate arm positioning. Oh yeah, this is the weird attack. Let me roll in. A little close for comfort. I'm surprised I haven't gotten 
angrier. Mostly, he's only roared like once or twice. Normally the normal would have roared multiple times. Yep. I, pro I probably just haven't done enough damage. For him to roar and do the additional phase. I'm just gonna stick with this bit, like, super overcautious style for a minute. Which I should have done it from the start. In fact, I have a tail break, but no. Base break is kind of weird to me. They like kiss two horn breaks and I haven't broken either of them. I, I say just before breaking one. Actually, like the worst place it could have ever fallen asleep. That's the worst place imaginable. If I want to hit his head. Wow. I really hope Wilds doesn't let monsters sleep in walls, because that's really lame. Ready to detonate. That was an error. Yep. So this is a different version of the fly into the air. Oh, somehow that roar triggered Intrepid Heart. Okay, so I know what that is. Because I've seen a, a clip of... someone getting absolutely murdered by that. That's the only attack I've ever seen of this guy, actually. I don't think I can ZSD on this phase. I think it's too risky. Wonderful work, my friend. Be careful. What's this? A oh, cool. That's a cool variant. I love that. I mean, it's one of my least favorite attacks because it's an awkward angle, but... The attack is still gonna exist, so it can't be like... It's not like the attack can be taken out of the game, so... Having a fun variant... is... necessary. Ooh. He does three now. Lucky. I barely survived that, I think. Can explode. Tail, please. Ah, uh, wings are dangerous. Tail is safe. Okay. Um, okay, don't... I was gonna miss mostly. I'm gonna stick with it though, cause I'm lazy. It didn't hit anything, even the explosion. Kind of expected, but... That one should have hit. Oh, I have two sleep toads now, don't I? I should probably save that for maybe when it's in the, I'm going to say, Risen phase. Yeah. 
terrible attack. Oh, I actually almost got ruined by Intrepid Heart there. I mean, my own play, obviously, more than Intrepid Heart, but... That's probably too far away. It worked though, so it wasn't too far away, which is good. Base please, thank you. Oops. Wonderful work, my friend. Please tail. Arm is not the ideal. Arm is never the ideal. I like that attack. I love it. It's very well planned, designed. I felt like I should have gotten hit there. Yeah. Am I safe here? Yes. Good. Half expected it to extend far enough. Let's just, yeah. Correct choice to Superman. It feels like it should be close to capture range. That, oh, I got hit there. That was bad. I should have gotten hit there. Oosh. That was close to not being bad, but it was bad, though. Hail for healing. Give me Kittenator, thank you. Please hit it. He's gonna miss. He didn't. Good job, Palico. Thanks for the support. As always, why do they shift so much when they're actively injured? But, and this is a pretty good chain from the Kitnator into Knockdown into Knockdown, though. Oh, right into a corner. Eh. That was pretty bad luck for where I landed. It really should be close to capture range by now, right? Oh, that's the wide one, not the long one. It's definitely a weird description, wide instead of long, but I know what I mean. Horizontal instead of horizontal. Kinda wanna sleep him. But I think I shouldn't. I. Oh. Weird. beam is bigger. For half a second I thought that it was going to chase me with it. 
and I was very glad when it didn't. That should have hit me. Tail? Good. Tail is reasonably safe. The post knockback is dangerous. But. An excellent opportunity. That's a really cool attack. I really love that. Deserved hit. Yep. Uh, let's do Nulberry first. Oh, it did chase. No. It just doesn't chase much. The previous one looked like it was moving, but it also just looked like my dog pushed it a quarter of an inch. So it does, it does move. It wasn't my eyes tricking me. That's good to confirm now. It really should be close to capture by now. Just based on part breaks and time and everything. Just charge at me, please. Nope, that's not going to hit. Unfortunate. I mostly just didn't want to keep holding on to it forever, so... It's less about actually... ...making good use of it. Which is... it's bad to just waste it, but... Yeah, when he's in a corner and he does that attack, that's a terrible combo. Where he does the... Mist explosions. Or frenzy, really. The frenzy explosions. And then he shifts to the side and he's not supposed to be right on top of it. I shouldn't have gone for that attack. Ay yeah, yeah. Just Superman. I'm out of honey. How am I out of honey? Oh, I didn't consume the. I just assumed that I consumed it. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't consume the max potion. I mean, that worked. That's fine. Oh, of course. I really hate when they just... You knock them out of the phase, and then they just go straight back into it. That's annoying. Like, I really think there should be some amount of time where they can't just instantly shift back into the rage phase. Just so that you actually spend time fighting it normally. Occasionally, instead of, like... You've been fighting it for long enough, it basically is always in rage phase after a certain point. And that's just... Honestly, it's kind of boring. Like, being like, oh, you succeeded in knocking it out of the rage phase. Here's at least, like... 30 seconds where you can fight it less aggressively. Like, I think that would be nice. 
actually having that little bit of time where the monster has relaxed. Well, it hasn't relaxed, but where it has calmed down or been calmed down forcibly. That was a bad hop, the first one. Like, part of it for me is, just make it so they can be knocked down in their rage form. Don't make the knockdown instantly kick them out. In which case, you don't have to deal with the whole, oh, they're angry, so they're gonna roar. Too greedy, yep. Okay, it doesn't move much, but it does very clearly move. Give me the tail. Thank you. Okay. It still can do 80% of my HP in a context where it really shouldn't be able to. So I can never use the ZSD because even on the tail it will do 80% of my HP in one hit. Well, I can't use it unless it's on the ground. Unless it's knocked down. Getting it all tanked by your dogs. Oh yeah, and because it's a beam, you can't stand up. You can't recover. That was so... I mean, that was very lucky, but it also... Oh, did you miss? And then how did it walk right into it? Okay, think half range. Okay, it can rotate a lot more than I thought it could on that last hit. Oi, I should have died from that. I got confused somehow. I'm actually confused how I got confused by that, but since I did get confused, there's nothing that can be done about that. Why does it spin like 270 degrees? I love getting shifted around by its stupid legs. And of course, instantly back to this. I shall use this Kinda wish the arena was bigger. Not the best intrepid heart. I it didn't go quite as wide as I thought it did. That's a terrible cart, because that explosion just goes so much slower than I thought it did. Oh, that explosion's so slow compared to what I expected. Oh, that's terrible. I shouldn't have carted there. Well, 
One more go. Shouldn't be too bad. It's so slow though. It's 30 minutes to get to the to that point. just a terrible misplay and it, it's actually I think about the worst possible way I could have done that like like if I jumped half a second sooner I would have been fine I think if I jumped maybe three quarters of a second later I would have been fine because if I jumped sooner I definitely would have been able to Superman again. But th that one there, I don't think there was any chance of Supermaning again. Or maybe if I'd been pressing the bumper and spamming jump, I could have j escaped. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it would have been doable. I found our target. Yes, you found our target in the arena that has been basically set up for us. Kind of hoping to Superman there, actually. Just... Stop shooting! So I can pull you into a wall. Ah, perfect positioning for me to not be able to pull him into a wall. I mean, this hunt should go better than the last one, because now I kind of know what I'm doing. Should be countering that. Terrible attack to go for. I really hate grab attacks because, like, for the amount of time that took, it did no damage. It's just a waste of time. Like, what kind of monster grabs somebody and then only does, like, a fifth of their HP? Oh, I thought it would attack my dog based on where it was looking, but I guess I was wrong. Some humans could learn from you. I might die if I do this, but... Oh, uh, no. It will walk into a random wall, clip me in, and then kick me out. I hit, but I should have missed. I'm gonna flinch, but it flinches so far. Yeah, that attack does more damage than its grab did. Now, the grab might have done less damage because defender procced and reduced the amount of damage taken. That's possible. But... It's still... For the amount of time... The grab takes... I hate that. I hate charge attacks like that. They're my least favorite of all the... 
generic attacks that monsters have. Because they're just nothing. There's so little impact to them. Too slow. But not too slow. Fine. I got the explosion. I then almost died. I should have died there. Safety first. I those were too many rolls. Oof. Didn't jump or didn't move far enough forward with the axe swing. That was barely successful. Ooh. I shall use this chance wisely. They're just charges. I hate those. Not in reach. I need to get parts broken. Too slow. Yep. Some humans could learn from you. Wonderful work, my friend. Kitnator's gonna miss. Oh, it actually succeeded somehow. Please, horn break. Okay, the knockdown's really good, so I might be able to break a horn here. Or not. Yeah, the grab is... Oh, the perfectly timed sleep. Incredibly lucky there. That might be a little far. Ready to detonate. Okay, that worked. Get out of the corner. He's been doing less of the... Alright, I think he's done less of the explosive, um... wing attacks. Or, I figured out how I'm supposed to dodge them better than I did before. Or, initially, last time. I feel a little iffy on that one. It was probably totally fine. I just felt a little iffy.
Um, that one felt bad. Probably my berry time. Uh, it's close. Okay, good. Tail. The tail shouldn't be too far from breaking. That worked. Acceptably. So I guess that's probably a guaranteed uh, instant explosion on the first time he enters this. Like the first time he enters the, I'm gonna say, risen state. It's probably guaranteed to trigger that attack instantly. Because even if it's only twice, it feels like a bit of a coincidence. Or a bit too much of a coincidence. Tail should be so close. Yeah, that explosion takes so long to start going. The explosion on that punching attack. It's very slow. Let's just take the hit. Wonderful work, my friend. I can't see what's happening. I should probably try to sleep it soon. That was a bad hitbox, in my opinion. Maybe I missed the wing clipping me or something, but Thanks for the support. that felt like a really bad hitbox. Oh, it, the blast knocked it out of the sleep AoE. I was correct that it was close. Too slow. Okay, so I can't do that. That's way too slow. At the rate that I was going for it. Now it's, again, that was probably fine. I just hit an arm so it stopped me from rolling as much as I wanted to. I really need to... Okay, don't sharpen. I was kind of lucky that I didn't get hit there.
That hitbox just feels bigger than it needs to be. I think it's reasonable, but just bigger than it needs to be. Like, I think if it was smaller, I wouldn't be like, oh, that should have hit, is sort of what I mean. That triggered Intrepid Heart feels kind of bad. That also felt a little bad. You know what? Yeah, just pre-craft a bunch of extras. Be safe. The barrel. That was a good barrel, actually. That was super lucky. Knocked it right out of the air. Can I do this? Maybe. Perfect. Except I literally could not escape that grab if I had wanted to because the explosion knocked me down for long enough that it was impossible, but... Oh. Always unfortunate when it hits you directly. Oh, wrong... Heal potion. I wanted the max potion, but... Am I safe behind him? Yes, I am. Good. Uh, spider is back. The toad should be back then, if the spider's back. didn't need to heal there because I do have blood right. That was a misplay. Very fortunate timing on that. Sharpen. To eat. Mm. Okay, it's also good to learn that that is a one of the ones where despite you being fallen down, you aren't immune, despite the fact that there's no actual indicator that you aren't invulnerable anymore. Which is one of those mechanics that I don't really love. Like, either always be immune when on the ground like that, or never be immune. Like, I don't like the inconsistency, because sometimes... Well, it's niche to this one because of wirebug recovery. That's the big thing. Like, without Wirebug Recovery, it wouldn't be the same issue. And if Wirebugs never come back, then that's never an issue again. At least not in the same way. 
that should have hit me, I think. The only reason I think it should have hit me is because hitboxes are sometimes garbage, and that's the exact type of hitbox that I think normally would have been absolute garbage and would have hit me despite the fact that I was clearly not in the AoE of anything to actually make contact. I hate when they start right where I am at. Uh, no, that hitbox was not right. Or at least the visual of the explosion was not as wide as it should be if it's going to hit me when I'm outside of the cylinder of that shouldn't have hit either in my opinion. Oh, cool. Different explosion pattern. I have a toad I should be grabbing. This is a terrible location to be at for this. In a corner? I could have slept it there. It was worth getting hit for that. fun when it misses. Just, I guess, hide behind it. Much safer. the big slam that has a very gradual explosive spread. Bad timing on the Wyvernator. Good timing on the elapse. That should have hit me. Ah, Intrepid Heart. Blocked it. That's why it did hit me.
I definitely need to get into the habit of when I'm running away, stopping running. Because, like, right there, I rolled intentionally. Because Superman dive would have been bad. But I have a bad habit of always holding down the bumper to run. And I need to work on that bad habit. I say that fighting, like, other than specific hazard versions, I say that while fighting one of the last monsters, like the last new risen monster. That, that hitbox feels so garbage. Cause I, I roll forward, but I guess his legs, his like, non-wing arm legs push forward enough that I can't actually roll through because it gets blocked I'm not a fan of restocking but I think I probably should restock just because I don't want to have to go through this fight again. I haven't died yet in this run, but I think it's probably... in my best interest to just guarantee not dying or severely reduce the chances of dying. I probably could, in theory, I could go the rest of the fight without dying or losing any. I could heal with blood right, but I would mostly just prefer to not have to spend another half hour on this because I died multiple times in a row because I, di I didn't want to refresh my equipment and items, didn't want to restock. Too slow. Okay, literally not enough time because it's just faster than the normal version. Literally is not the right word. Definitely. Okay, that laser version pushes it back way more than the normal Shigaru Magala's laser does. So I can't ever rely on the step forward from the axe swing to avoid the laser because it pushes it back more than I can move and then the the axe attack has too much of a backswing. So it's impossible to dodge it properly in that scenario. But that's necessary to learn. This should be it. Not right here, it should be a little longer. But this, I shouldn't lose. I say jinxing myself, but...
That's not the worst Intrepid Heart trigger. Wonderful. Farewell, monster. I like it. It's pretty good. I'm sad with my first hunt. I shouldn't have failed that. I should have been able to beat it. Because honestly, that last cart was really bad. I don't know. I think it's kind of... Okay. I know there's harder versions of these. I would definitely rank this base form of Risen Shigaru Magala below Hazard Primordial Malzeno. But Not quite sharp enough. it's remarkably on a similar... I think it's on a similar level though. Even just the base form. Mostly in the sense of... It's kind of rough to learn it initially, but by the second kill, it wasn't that bad, honestly. Like, it had a lot of stuff that... I got hit a lot, which isn't great, but it reached the point where it was reasonably simple. Not easy, but simple. That's interesting. I hope there's another run. Does... It's beginning to look like... Riz and Shigaru Magala by itself only gives a bloodlust jewel. Like the later versions are different, but virtue. It's not bad. It's not like the best, but it's not bad. Redirection. Probably good if you're good, but I'm not. I mean, it's. It doesn't seem that great as a full set. Okay, four, three, three, four, two, four, three. Not great. Redirection, defiance. And two levels of strife and three levels of handicraft is not terrible. Okay, so they have all of the frenzied bloodlust and bloodlust stuff linked together. I mean, it's probably not the worst. Like, frenzied bloodlust is valuable, I guess, is my understanding, but I don't know. It just feels kind of limited compared to this stuff. Though I say that, looking at the skills, it's not like crazy better. Like Blood Awakening, I don't know numerical values, but it's boost your damage. Critical boost is good. Burst is plus five, and then a bigger boost, and then Heartbreaker's not the best. Like, I guess if you can make use of Bloodlust and Frenzied Bloodlust appropriately, then it's probably a better... 
it's probably a better set of skills. I have 133 cortexes. That's a lot. It's not that much compared to probably some people, but I'm not going to use most of them. Bloodlust, Frenzy, Bloodlust, Strife. Strife is probably good if you're good at the game, but I'm not. I can't do like a Berserker or whatever setup probably. Actually, maybe I could do that. Maybe I should try that at some point. But not for right away. The attack boost three. It is only nine attack. And like the decoration slots are not that bad. It's just compared to this, they're not very good. Oh yeah. Uh, I'd rather waste a little bit of that. Do I want to go skills or just base? I mean, that's probably worth it, except for the fact that I will never make good use of affinity sliding. But I'd rather keep the defense. I mean, that's maybe better. That's definitely better. I mean, that's probably worth it. Less defense, a level 1 slot. I lose a bunch of resistances, but... I'm going to do this a little bit. Cause, ooh, I like Sphere Bird's Call. It's only a level... That's not worth it, actually. Actually, no. It might be worth it, but it's probably not worth it to take Spearbird's Call there. Because the level 1 slot from the other one I just had... Could have had Spearbird's Call put into it. I kind of like that. I'll do one more. Uh, two more to get down to 70. This is probably better, but... I just kind of want that because it puts Master's Touch to 3, and that's a huge improvement over 2. Like from 40% to 80%? Very big improvement. Fun monster. I probably... I might hunt it a little occasionally, but I, I don't need any items from it, so... Until the afflicted hazard whatever version of it i'm probably not gonna hunt it much but i guess that's the last risen monster and the only thing there's only like two things left one is grind anomalies so that i can fight the afflicted versions of the risen monsters which i actually do have risen kushaladora but I genuinely don't think I could finish this quest. I don't think I can kill it in 25 minutes. Maybe it's possible. Maybe I could do it. I don't think I can do it. I could check. See how long my normal Risen Kushaladora hunts have taken. But... I don't think... It was very quick. But... It's sort of... A challenge. I'm trying to check. Because it could be fun, but if I don't think I can even finish it... Yeah. Okay, my first Risen Kushaladora hunt took 25 minutes and 17 seconds. Unless afflicted versions are quicker because they have less HP or something, I don't think I could finish that. I could do it to get an, a feeling for how the afflicted version, or the anomaly version, I guess, 
feels, and if I fail, I fail. And then I move on to something else. Yeah, I guess that's what I'll do. Next time I'll try the Anomaly Kushaladora. And then... I'll continue with, like, going through the advanced quests. Because a, lo a lot of these look pretty fun. All those advanced quests, all the event quests that look interesting. Stuff like that. I'll go through those. I look forward to your safe return. Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna grind for now at least, I'm not gonna grind basic anomaly quests in a video. It's gonna be streamed, which is fun. But in a video format I don't think it works as well. But yeah, I'll stop here. I hope you have a nice day. Bye bye.